Hi guys, how are you going? Sorry for the look, I'm just out of bed, but I'm just going to reply to V for Vlogging's excellent eight questions. His first question was, have you ever licked the back of a CD to get it to work again? And no, 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 I don't. But you know what really irritates me? is when people lick bits of paper to separate them. We had a teacher at school and my grandmother does it too. They were great teachers and my grandmother was a great grandmother. It's when people like get pieces of paper to hand out to the class or whatever and they go like that, pick it up. And I think, uh, why? I can separate it, why can't you? Second question. If you could go back in time, what year would you choose? 1987. We temporarily moved out of our house as it was being done up by builders and construction workers. We moved into a new apartment block, but that's neither here nor there. Anyway, I remember, my, I think my favourite year for music had to be 1987. You had some great stuff from the Bee Gees. You had that Star Trekking song. Star Trekking across the universe. And there were quite a few songs that year. To Pow, I seem to remember. Also, I think it was the year that I discovered the soap opera Neighbours, an Australian show, which I was addicted to for many years. And there was some excellent series on TV here in Britain, such as The A-Team. And my favourite, The Fall Guy. I'm the only stunt man that makes Eastwood look so fine. Number three. What is the weirdest thing you've eaten? I've eaten a lot of things because I've travelled the world. I've eaten worms. I've had worms too. No, no. I've just eaten worms. I've eaten crocodile. I've eaten ants. I've eaten scorpion. Funnily enough, the only thing I won't eat yet are snails. Haven't eaten that. But I've eaten a lot, as I say, worms, crocodile, ostrich, kudu, which is a kind of deer. So I've eaten quite a few things. Kangaroo, of course, being in Australia. The next question. What is the wallpaper on your cell phone? Well, this is rather sad. I work as a TV extra and I'm in a new Australian TV mini-series or a, I think it's a telemovie called Scorched where I'm a fire officer. So I have me in my fire uniform on my wallpaper on my cell phone or mobile phone. What is the weirdest fashion in your closet? Well, I'm wearing one of them now. I bought it in New York. Here we are. It says something like, I put the pub back into Republican. <laughs> what is the greatest amount of alcohol you've had in one sitting? Do you know what? I'm not pious, but I don't drink. I never have, never touched alcohol in my life. No, I'm not Mormon either. What is the greatest amount of alcohol? Maybe I have had alcohol, because I just repeated that question. Would you try and take over the world? No, but I think the world has taken over me. And what would you rather have, a cook, a nanny, or a chauffeur? Uh, not a nanny, because I have no kids. But I wouldn't mind a chauffeur or a cook. I can't cook to save my life. Well, I can use a microwave. I'm very handy with a microwave. A chauffeur, I think. I don't drive at the moment. So, yeah, chauffeur, door to door. You can get the underground, you know, the subway or the bus. Which is very effective often, when it works on time. And when they can find a driver. But, no, I've got to say chauffeur. Nothing like going door to door. So those are the eight excellent questions answered from V for Vlogging and inspired by him. So I look forward to hearing yours too. Thanks V for Vlogging and thanks for viewing. All of you out there. Take care. Toodle pip ta ta. Hubbly jubbly.